I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering, are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. I like this topic. (laughs) Okay. Well, last week we talked about some celebrity breakups that happened. And recently Usher did an interview with Vibe Magazine. And he was saying the hardest thing that he's ever had to do was to be single. But with the help help of therapy and, you know, being single, he um, came to a place where he could be with himself, yeah. you know. Uh, and it, this just got me to thinking that, especially with breakups, a lot of people get into bad situations or even worse situations because they don't want to be alone. Yes. That's like an epidemic. What is that old st- saying? You jump it from the... Skill to the fire pan. pan. Yeah, it's like that's what people do. Yeah, yeah, and and you know celebrities, they, they you'll hear about the breakup. Of course, you're not in their personal life, so it could have happened a while ago. We don't know dates and all that. But I mean, PDQ, they will be with somebody <laughs> right else away. just right away. And I was just thinking about that. So you know, some of you out there are going through breakups. So we just have a little friendly advice yes about that just a little Um, been there done that for you okay before you get over them and under somebody else here's just some tips yes first detox yes you have to detox from this prior relationship yes so What what are <laughs> so, uh, you know what one of mine is if you can't quit looking them up online you're not ready to move on but you need to get in a place and, and that's on. and that's part of detoxing part of right find something to do you know a lot of times when you get with people you kind of lose your hobby or lose your thing that was your thing get back to whatever that friends. is you and your fr- yes you just forsake you you hear people say oh i can tell she in a relationship now right because you're you're not around so get back with your friends do and do it for a while don't use them no i want to say that too don't use them until you get with the next person maybe learn a lesson maybe you should have been staying to cultivate those yes friendships yes and then learn to enjoy solitary pursuits. Yes. Things that you can just do by yourself. You yes. Know, whatever it is, like Natasha said, a hobby or maybe going to the movies. You could go out to eat by yourself. There's stuff that you, you don't have to be with someone for every single thing. Yes. The best thing in the world is going to the movies a matinee, like on a Wednesday Ooh, afternoon, yes. is a beautiful thing. And if nobody's in there, it's in the dark. Nobody's yes. looking at you. You can relax. It's just so good. You have space. I want to say this too. If you cannot do that, if you're te- if you're saying in your head like, "Oh, I just I just can't go to eat by myself. I can't do this." I want to tell you, no relationship is going to help you because that means you're not okay being with yourself. Correct. So it, I, I don't, I don't know how to put that in any other words than then learn to become being okay yes. with yourself. Because yes. if it takes a person, then you're really not happy. Because the minute that person changes, or if they're no longer there for whatever reason, then you're back in trouble. Right. Right. And and just like a drug, mm. come and on detoxing, now. Detoxing. You know, yeah. you you have to get it out of your system. system. You have to get where you don't need Need. this substance anymore like you're you're cool without it yes so that is number one okay after you get through that now you know that can be the tears the crying the the, all the stuff that happens the you know you're a little depressed you're you know all the things when you get over that hump you need to do an autopsy (laughs) you need a post-mortem audit um Someone you just, just have to do it. You got to pick laughed, it apart. But it's true. You have to pick it apart. Because how else do you prevent yourself from getting back into this situation? You don't. And number one, do not romanticize the dead. Ooh, this mm. is. I mean, not yeah, just Lisa with, with has romance. Feelings about this. <laughs> I have been to funerals. Oh yeah, where they the get up and talk 
about the person, and I'm thinking, who are we talking about? Because I didn't like, know, I don't recognize. I didn't know that this. that version of that it, person. All you have to do is die. Yeah, for people right. to romanticize. Right. And the same with relationships. This could have been the worst relationship. Yes. He could have been abusive. You could have been, I mean, all the bad things. And all you bring up is the, oh, oh we used I to miss always... this. Yes. And this yeah. was his favorite color. And this is the, and you yes. just go into this whole romanticized version. Yes. And your friends are looking at you like, so you don't remember the. Calling me at 3 a.m. Right. about this crap. And yeah. going to the hospital yes. and um, the time he cheated on you and yes. the this and the that. And it doesn't even have to be that traumatic. Or maybe just the time he ignored you. Right. When you I really mean, needed and it might not even be a bad breakup, but it just, you just don't need to be together. Right. This is not your person. Right. So even so on that is, level, don't romanticize, don't romanticize I it. I agree. I totally um, agree. They are not, nor have they ever been perfect. So let's stop there. Yes. They're yes. not perfect. You you miss them, just like the drug, but it's a good thing. Yeah. And you're going to get on the other side of it. Um, there's a reason the relationship did not work out. Be honest. Yes. And when you get to where you don't romanticize it, then you can truly do Some of an work. objective audit. That's true. Where there's good things. These yes. were the things I liked about yep. this person. Yep. And these, you know, the, yeah, all the, whatever. And doesn't that work on both sides? Because you don't want to villainize to the point where they were the devil and, you know. Right. So that's the balance. The The autopsy is the balance. That's you're it. You're not over romanticizing. You're not over villainizing. It just is. It is what it, it is, is. Right. And there we go. It's just a truthful assessment. Of, it's what, an audit. of what went down. Yeah. It's an audit. Yeah. You get audited at work or the IRS has audited you. Hopefully not, but or an it, autopsy. Do, that's why autopsies are what they are because it may look like one thing, but once you get that body on the slab, you cut it open, you look at it. They then know this, this is for is what sure killed what it. killed it. Yeah. So yeah. So be this, honest this with yourself. True this is what killed the and relationship. That's what, this was good and this was bad. Yes. Um, I love this about this person, but I hated this. And what that lets you do is go back. And revise your list. Yes. You know, we all, everybody has a list of yes. your non-negotiables, the things you want in a relationship and a person and a partner. Yep. And that's the next thing and you need to do is revise And what list. you need to do about yourself. Yeah. Some growth and some things that need to change in yes. your life yes. before you can move on to a healthy relationship. Yes. So once you do the autopsy, you know what you want in a person. Um, and what you don't, and then you can revise a list. You have a better understanding of yes. yourself, what you need in a relationship, what your non-negotiables are. Yes. Cause there's some stuff you're not going to get a hundred percent person. Cause you're not a hundred percent. There's That's nobody, it. That's it. but there's some things like I absolutely cannot deal with a person that's not athletic. I'm athletic. I like right. to run. I like to do da da la la. Or maybe you have uh, asthma. So a smoker, that's a non that's an, yeah. for you. So there's some yeah. things that everybody has that um you know you can't argue about. Yeah. This and, it is what and it is. And if you're thinking, well I've already got a list, I would hope your list change. You need to revise. That's yes. what, what the That's why it says for. revise your revi list. Yes. Go back, pull that out. Yep. Because, you know, sometimes it's like the chickens. <laughs> We're back to the chickens, paper. always the chickens. There's some stuff on your list that you yeah. thought it you wanted. Great on paper. And then you get it. Didn't we just talk about that? We episode? did. Jonah. We just talked about that with Jonah. Now I want the surfer Jonah with the tight and body Kiki's. and Ki Darius Jackson. Yes. I you want, think it. You want it. Right. So go back over that and be list. honest, and that's that's where the the post the post mortem the autopsy that's that being honest with yourself, so that your list when you revise your list it can be honest. Yes, because I'm going to tell you there are things when I was dating, including my husband, that may have been on my list or maybe weren't. That now that list is there, and spoiler alert on your list, a person who can communicate should be on there, because oh, yes. otherwise, as list. things change over time, as they tend to do. You can't even communicate that. So there's 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 number one on your list Agreed. if you need some help. Yes, yes. <laughs> so you gain a better understanding of yourself and what you want in a relationship. Yes. What you want for this person. And 
you have to be alone to process all this. Yes. You really do. Yes. You don't need any outside influences. You don't even need your girlfriends. Yep. Girl, you know you should get right. X, Y, Z. Because that's what they want. He needs to be yes. X, Y, you know, A, B, C. Don't do that. You need to be yes. alone. Only yes. you can Go process Go sit at a coffee it. shop where no one will recognize you by yourself. With yourself. With yourself. And, and do that. List. Yes. Yes. And thousand percent agree. You know, it's a hard thing. It is. Breakups are hard. But I think until you learn to do this, you oh, you're, you're doomed, doomed to repeat. Headed, yes. History will repeat. You're just itself. gonna have the yes. you know, wash, rinse, repeat <laughs> over and, and over, over and again. Over. Yes. So please the clothes never get moved this to the is dryer. A black mama moment. Yes, it is. It is. Sit down with your own damn self. With yourself. Yes. And you don't just and go you somewhere and sit down. I have thought that about celebrities. Look, yes. Just go somewhere and sit down. Sit your pants up, close please. your legs, and sit down. Sit down. Because half the by yourself. You're creating. For yeah, yourself. you are. And you notice, I'm not going to mention any names because mm. some of them I love. I love some of these folks. They get out of one and then they get with some, marry somebody. I mean, Girl. and you look at everything that you know this, right? You can just call it right off. This is right off from the last time. Right. <laughs> And then here you go. Yep. And, you know, however many months, weeks like, later, it's over. It and you're wondering why. Why because did you even get into this? Right. You just do that reflex thing and rebound thing. Yes. And both of y'all are in trouble. So this no. is a live and learn moment. Yes. Now, maybe you've done that in uh, the past. We're not, no judgment here. We've all been there, but we're not going to repeat it. Right. We're going to live and learn. And hopefully, and if you want it to improve, then you don't want to do the same old thing because you already know where that's going to get you. Right. You've done that. And that list that you had, that you're there because of that list. Right. So that, <laughs> that what, list is not revision working. revision matters. That, yes. This, the list you had is not working. Yes. So you need to revise the list. You know who spoke to this? I don't know when the interview was, but um, do you remember Lala? She mm -hmm, was married to mm -hmm. Allen Iverson. No, and C Carmelo. Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. She was married to Carmelo Anthony. And um, they interviewed her and it had to do with like marriage and relationships. And, you know, y'all were so tight. When do you feel like it went down? And she's in a place now. And she said that. She was like, I remember I like cursed you out years ago and I want to apologize. And they're like, it's okay. Oh. She was like, no, you asked me when it was so raw and I was still in that blaming myself, blaming this. Mm -hmm. She said she couldn't talk about it. But the one thing she said was, but I've had to tweak a few things and what I would never do again is date a basketball player. What that means oh, is she's okay. went through part of this list. She went through the crying, the tears, the cursing out, the blaming. Then she took some time. She did the autopsy. This works. This doesn't work. I like this. I like, I don't like that. Lala is tall, y'all. So she's probably going to date someone that's, you know, six foot a jillion. Or maybe not. Well, no, she said it. She said, oh, she said, she said, I like to wear my heels, okay. but it would not be a basketball player. See, that's the like and the dislike. I like them tall, but I don't like this basketball traveling, blah, blah, blah. And she mm -hmm. kind of broke down mm -hmm. some of the, the reasons. She revised her list. And you know who else? Courtney. Courtney yes. Courtney. You know, she was by herself for some years. She was. She and was. She said she did a lot of self work. Yes. Yes. And, and that's why her sister got doesn't to a understand healthy her place. Yes. And she went outside and her, her lane. Uh, yes. She got out of she her lane. Because sometimes. Because that lane was taking you to the lane, same place. And sometimes in lane, the lanes are closed. You don't ever stand on the freeway. <laughs> you get on some of them lanes, they are closed. And that's why you still. You have to get over. Yes. You have to and get that's why over. Chloe doesn't understand her because Chloe's thing is, oh, I feel like this, this style is a phase. This is a phase. But honey, you've been on repeat since before Lamar Odom. I'm not even going to blame Lamar Odom because before then, you're doing the same thing over and over Maybe and over. Maybe she's, she's getting to a good honey, place. just we listen hope. to our podcast we and hope. follow these instructions. We hope, we hope. for a lot of, well, of, course I hope lot so. of people. Yes. You know, we hope. And the other thing with this, especially if you have, like Kiki, children with this person mm -hmm. and they have to be in your life yes. it's vital you do this yes because don't, you don't, don't get with another get fool to a healthy place yes. where you can you know you were with them so they're not all bad we know that right. you wouldn't have, you're not a psychopath you're not going to get with somebody that's a serial killer that you know of we would hope you know we, we hope <laughs> i don't hope. think you would so you have to get to a healthy place where you can have a healthy 
cordial relationship yes. if you have if you share children with yes. this person. And then you so don't this want to invite vital. more crazy around your children. That's it. That so, and repeat the crazy so the around list them. Really makes sense. Really for you. matters. Yes. Really matters. And you can't do the list without the autopsy and the detox. That's it. You have to do it. And I there's no time living on this. But you know, some folks, yeah, have you ever been you ever broken up with somebody and you really want to break up? Like you're just done. Yes. Now when you do that, that <laughs> detox might take Two days. Two days. I like. Yes, because you're right. You're the just, time limit is I'm, different. I've been gone. <laughs> or even if you... Now, maybe th- this may just be me. I am a very social introvert. I enjoy being alone. I think you are too. I think yes, you're a social I think introvert. I am too. Who I who I fool An with, I fool with. Introverted introvert. Who I fool with, I fool with. But if I don't, leave I'm me alone. alone. Yeah. If you see me sitting alone, I don't need you to come sit with me. I'm not lonely. I'm perfectly fine sitting with Natasha. I might even be talking to myself. I need expert opinion sometimes. I'm the type of person, once I had my first big, ugly, failed a few classes behind it in college breakup, that has never happened to me again. But what I learned during that detox, which was forced, that mm-hmm. one was a very mm-hmm. forced one. It was, I so lost a lot of friends so behind it. Forced. Yeah, it was really forced. But during the autopsy, I realized I never want to be so lost in someone that I don't know who I am. Right. And that's easy to do. It's very easy Especially to do. Especially for women. Yes. We tend to We're very that. supportive. So yes. it's easy we to... We just get... Your your cause yep. is my cause. That's it. And you that's just right. get all in it. Yes. So doing the but detox... But I learned then not to do that. And so if I ever have to go through this list again, the detox may take a while, but the autopsy, I'm very black and it's white. It's more focused. It is. It's more focused for yes. me. Well, just think if or in a real autopsy... They kind of know what happened. Girl, yes. I mean, they, you know, the general area. Yes. So they're not, if, you know, it was intestinal something, yes. they're not looking for something in That's their right. brain That's that right. went wrong. That's right. It was in their abdomen. But maybe at the beginning of their career in doing autopsies, they probably had to make they a lot more cuts. Have. They might But have. now, no. But now you kind of know. where to go. Yes. You, you know what yes. broke it. And during a breakup, you know, it might have been little things over a long time, mm-hmm. or there might have been one big explosion. Mm-hmm. But whatever it was, you know, that situation, whatever happened, is a non starter for you. Yes. So you can, you the what? list begins with that. Like, yes. never again. Yes. Not this. This is what we're not going to do. Right. And guys, when people say it's not you, it's me, believe them. Oh, sure. I used to want to examine this. It would have to be this. It had to be that. It had to be. No, it wasn't me. But it was them. And they said it. Low self-esteem on yes, our part. that is. Yes, and it is. And that's part of doing the You're work. looking for something to be wrong and with you. And post-mortem, it's not just them. You're not just oh, you better be doing an audit you. on them. <laughs> Yeah. You need to, you're auditing yourself. Yes. Like I did this wrong. This was wrong. I need to correct this. I have a problem with this. So it's not one sided. You are auditing the whole relationship, both sides. So that's super, super important. And we just want everybody to get to a healthy place. We yes. want everybody to be happy, everybody to be happy and get to a Great place and find their happily ever after in their person. Yes. That's what we want. That's what black mamas want for you. Everybody. Everybody. (laughs) Up next, our picks for the sexiest man alive this week. But first, a message from our sponsor. During hard times, it can get really difficult if you don't have anyone to talk to. Being alone with your thoughts can be an isolating feeling that can allow negativity to consume you. This is why we are sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. 
So many people use BetterHelp that they are currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash free for coffee. That's BetterHelp.com slash free for coffee. I think I have someone I've never picked before. Really? Yes. Okay. And I'm just, see y'all, I got out of my lane <laughs> of tattooed certain people, but I miss him. And this was a, I don't know if this was a good, it, it had some good parts, but it was kind of a rocky relationship. Speaking of relationships, if y'all ever watch Revenge, he's in more than that. But I loved Revenge and I went back last year and finally finished it because it was one of those where I quit it's, watching it. it on? It's on something now. Oh, Hulu. Or, somebody uh, has it where you can watch the whole thing yeah. um josh bowman who played daniel grayson he was a main guy yes he, he was he was the guy. son who who really became kind of the target you know because she she had to target their son fun fact him and what was her name emily, emily her? camp i think yes they're married in real life yeah because she played I saw Revenge a couple times. I okay, didn't get into it. It would be your ge- What do you mean? I it's don't know. Scorpio I Central. Get, I didn't really get into it. Oh, but she goodness. was in the, the show that I love with Treat Williams. Yes, she was. Yes. Okay. Uh, Everwood. Yes. Yes. She was in that. So she plays in a okay, lot of Please watch oh, Revenge. And she was in The Resident. I love oh, the is resident. that her little doctor thing? Yes. Okay. Well, she's she's dead in that one now. Oh, I was like, girl, she's yeah, dead? Killed, okay. Killed in the show. I think she wanted to be dead. Oh, you know what? I out. think she was pregnant again. Okay. You're right. She was pregnant again and yeah. she wanted she, out. She plays a lot. Cute blonde. And this wasn't about Emily Camp. This was about this Josh was about, Bowman. about her man. <laughs> this is about Emily's man in real life. This was about, and, and her man on Revenge. And he's British, isn't he? Which kind of shocked me. It's so funny because when you hear his actual voice, you're like, you're like whoa, that? you're really acting. Because his American voice. It's so good. It's so good. And he said he would practice in the mirror as a kid. Oh, that he wow. would do his little American. He it, it's so funny. Cute. He's, He's really cute. cute. Okay. Uh, another cradle robbing moment <laughs> because just running out of old. She's folks. feeling some kind of way. Um, Jonathan Scott, the That's... property brothers. You guys, if you watch HGTV, he's not twelve. He's not twelve, but he's you know really what I love about him. He, I mean, I th- I think he's cute. He, he's not like in my top ten or anything. <laughs> Sorry. Jonathan, but I love his woodworking skills. <laughs> okay, well, you know, you love houses, so this yes, and he's a really good you designer. You have a love I affair love with houses and design, and, and he just got engaged to Zoe Deschamel. Yes, they've been living together for quite they've a while. They forever. rehabbed a house. They lived, I actually they did thought they were house, married. <laughs> which their house is so pretty. Oh, of so course. Cool. Um, so he's just got a lot of. Cool. I like them. I like them both. I like them both. Yeah. Okay, loves. Thank you for pulling up a chair and joining us for coffee. Please subscribe to Are You Free for Coffee podcast wherever you're listening. And don't forget to rate our show. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode and find joy in the little things. Until next time. Part of the Boundless Audio Podcast Network.